114-year-old oil field in California is helping Chevron revolutionize heavy oil production some 11,000 kilometers away in the Middle East. In 1899, oil was discovered in the Kern River field. By 1950, only 10% of the heavy oil had been recovered, and abandonment of the field seemed imminent. That was until a new process called steam flooding was introduced. See, Chevron is the world leader in steam flooding uh, and thermal recovery. Uh, we look at ourselves against our competitors. Uh, we outpace our competitors in the number of barrels produced uh, via thermal recovery methods uh, globally. It's a combination of having the right people, the right technology, uh, the right tools. Steam flooding is an enhanced oil recovery process to increase recovery from heavy oil reservoirs. In steam flooding, steam is injected near the base of a heavy oil reservoir through an injection well. The injected steam vapor rises toward the top of the reservoir due to buoyancy. Heavy oil is thick and has a very high viscosity or resistance to flow, which can make it difficult to extract or produce. As the injected steam comes into contact with the oil, it transfers heat to the cold heavy oil, reducing the viscosity of the oil and making it more mobile. Chevron is leading the world in uh, steam flood uh, technology. Uh, it has uh, 50 years uh, plus experience in uh, Kern River, California and Dury, Indonesia. And implementing this experience in Wafra PZ, I think it has uh, a huge impact to increase the recovery factor of uh, original oil place, which uh, we are currently estimating to be 40 plus billion barrels. As the steam zone expands toward the production wells, the heat transfer continues and oil production increases. When the steam zone has developed throughout the targeted area, an event known as breakthrough, the wells have likely reached peak production. The accumulation of steam vapor at the top of the reservoir is called the steam chest. As the steam chest expands and continues to provide heat transfer to the oil along the steam oil interface, the heated oil drains towards the production well in a process called gravity drainage. As the gravity drainage process continues and the production wells deplete the reservoir, steam injection can be reduced to increase the operational efficiency of the process. The first steam flooding uh, projects we did were in the uh, late 90s, early 2000, where we did cyclic steaming of a number of uh, first Eocene wells mainly looking at response to steam in these reservoirs, uh, those results were promising and pos positive. That led us then to executing a series of pilots. We've seen some uh, very good uh, responses to steam. Uh, we are seeing steam development uh, throughout the pilot, uh, development of a steam chest, which is very important and critical. Uh, we're also learning some uh, uh, lessons around uh, corrosion, uh, scale mitigation and such and uh, we're tackling those. We have close to 14 billion barrels of oil in Wafra field and based on our experience in Kern River and in Dury fields, we should be able to increase the recovery factor in Wafra up to close around 60 to 70 percent. As a result of the steam flood process, up to 60 to 70 percent or more of the initial oil in place can be produced. Steam injectors are capable of reaching multiple reservoirs simultaneously. Surveillance wells can be used to measure the temperature of each steam chest and to monitor progress as steam spreads from the injector wells to the production wells. These techniques allow for improved efficiency of oil production and strategic staging of field development. So we have some good idea uh, about the steam flood, but uh, our concern here is uh, that we have a carbonate reservoir, which is different than what is in uh, uh, Bakersfield or, uh, or Indonesia because it's sand reservoir. Due to the differences between carbonate and sandstone reservoir and the unique EUC challenges, we have utilized a careful stage approach to testing the application of steam flooding technology in the carbonate reservoir of the partition zone. In order to help achieve the highest level of success in this venture, Chevron has created an infrastructure of steam flooding educational tools, most notably the Technology Center and the Heavy Oil Center. The purpose is to put a sufficient body of technical experts local so that they act as, I will say, the first 
group of experts. The Heavy Oil Center provides a mechanism for us to tap into Chevron's global expertise. Uh, we have direct access to that in our project. The unique things on, on this center, it has a number of expertise who innovate technology and keep improving it. One of the other things that, that really makes Chevron well suited to develop the the oil in Wafra field is our, our long-term uh, relationship with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, with the state of Kuwait in terms of operating in the region. Developing the steam flood technology in the joint operation okay, will expand the operation over there. And expanding the operation over there means a lot of jobs. Chevron is a good partner because we know that Chevron uh, has done this before in other parts of the world, namely in uh, uh, Karen River and in Duri, Indonesia field. Chevron is well positioned to exploit what we've learned at uh, Kern River, what we've learned at Duri, and apply that very efficiently and very effectively in the partition zone. Heavy oil is becoming an important resource to meet the world's energy demand. With continued applications of steam flooding technology, Chevron will bring the world's heavy oil to the surface. <laughs>